Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 61 and today we have three big games with Club and Country and the first of which is the final Euro 2020 qualifier against Denmark where a point will send us in to the Euro 2020 group stages. Uh, then we take on Everton in the Premier League and then our first ever Champions League game which is at home to Bayer Leverkusen and I'll show you the full group now as well. We have got Atletico Madrid, Zenit and of course the German side Leverkusen as well in Group B of the Champions League and I gotta say it's it's quite a tough one and I'm not sure we'll be able to make it out of the Champions League group. It's our first ever year in European football. We might have to try our best just to finish in third and not fourth because that's a really tough group for us and again the first game today you'll see in the Champions League is against Bayer Leverkusen. I'm so excited for that. Our first ever European tie. Still, the first game of today's episode is against Denmark, and this is our final European qualifier, where, again, a point will send us to Euro 2020, and a win will guarantee us finishing top of the group as well. But a loss and things could be disastrous, as both the Danes and the Italians may push us back down to third place and see us miss out on a spot at Euro 2020. So, massive, massive game. We need to avoid defeat to qualify. Can we do so? Come on, Scotland. We've done the hard work. Now, let's finish the group the point we need. Our first ever game of this qualifying campaign was a home defeat to Denmark and that really worried me even back then just one game in because I knew it was going to be tough to catch up to both them and Italy if they kept on winning which they did but now we've done so we're in the top two for the first ever time I don't want to drop out of it with one game left that would be disastrous. Corner to Scotland, we started off on the front foot and a chance here with Fraser to deliver one towards the centre. In it goes to the middle, Vestergaard heads it away, Fraser will get another go. In it goes once more, great delivery and Tony Watt is denied by a great save by Kasper Schmeichel as the Leicester shot stopper turns behind for another corner. Great save there. Well, I've got to say, some worrying signs because Tony Watt just got an injury and is being forced off the pitch. Oh, my word. This is like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Tony Watt is injured and needs to get subbed off. And this could be disastrous for club and country. We'll bring on the top scorer of the campaign, Jordan Rhodes, who scored in the last game as well. But this is very, very worrying indeed. Way on the ball, tries to keep hold of it despite Hanley's pressure. He does a great job of it too as he goes down the right. Can he cross? Yes, he can. And Paulson's header is past Logan Reed and into the back of the net. Denmark 1, Scotland 0. This is disastrous. Braithwaite with a great cross in the middle. And Yusuf Paulson, who's given me so many nightmares for Dortmund. He stopped us from winning the Bundesliga on the final day in my FIBA 17 career mode. Now could potentially knock me out of the qualifying for Euro 2020 as well. God damn it. But directly from kickoff, Patterson's inside the area, storms forward, finds man Phillips, rolls it across, Michael does enough. Vestigar gets it clear, still 1-0, we need a goal. Brig cut through towards Callum Patterson, down the right, he turns his man, he does well, he rolls it inside, it is Matt Phillips, he'll go for goal, Schmeichel saves, Gould shortly, yes, gets in! Ryan Gould puts us back on level terms, Denmark 1, Scotland 1, come on! God, I hate Yusuf Paulson, but we're back on level terms, Matt Phillips shot, well saved by Kasper Schmeichel, but Ryan Ryan Gould, first to react, gets to the rebound and puts it in. It is 1-1, 22 minutes to go. Can we hold on now? There it is, it's all over. Final score, Denmark 1, Scotland 1. And we have done it. We'll be coming down the road and going to Euro 2020 as well, thanks to that man, Ryan Gould's equaliser. Oh man, it was a nervy game, but we've done enough. I felt we were the stronger side as well and deserved to win it, let alone get a point. But in the end, that's all we get. But it is enough. A big, big result. But I'm very worried now about the injury to Tony Watt. Uh, Italy also drew the Netherlands as well. So because of that, we finished top of the group, not just in second place like I was imagining. I thought Italy would win that one. But either way, we finished top of the group and that's fantastic. But I'm very worried about Tony Watt's injury. Let's find out how long he is going to be sidelined for nine days. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pressure or lead, thank God. 
And so Denmark qualify alongside the Scots then in second place. Italy miss out by a single goal. And for the Tartan Army as well, eight of the ten games, we were sitting in third place or lower. We only managed to sit in one of the qualifying places after the win in the penultimate game against Czech Republic. We pulled it out later on. That's the definition of clutch. And we come through and qualify for Euro 2020. But had it come at the expense of a serious injury to Tony Watt, I'm not too sure it would have been worth it. I mean, of course it would have been, but uh, still. Uh, second game in today's episode we take on Everton away at Goodison Park we just beat one Merseyside team in Liverpool at home now we take on the Toffees it's a seventh versus sixth battle as both teams are only separated by a point it's a big big game in the Premier League already can we get a win let's hope so come on St Johnston Early corner to St Johnston. Ryan Fraser takes it. Looks for Oliver McBurney. He flicks it on. Great save with the goalkeeper. And he dives on the rebound so quickly. Callum Patterson waiting to pounce. Just couldn't beat the goalkeeper to the ball. Still nil nil. Carthy for Everton through towards De Feu. And a great strike by Besic. My word. So much shot power on that one. But Logan Reed says, don't worry about it. I got it. Great stop there. Still nil nil. Both goalkeepers making impressive saves early. Browning inside towards Besic. And the Bosnian finds Ben Yedda. And it's a good ball out wide towards the number 27. Down the right hand side. It's going to go straight to the far post. And Delefeu, oh well. I was just about to say casually. Delefeu has put Everton in front. But once again, Logan Reed shows his importance to the club. Another fine save. And it's still nil nil. We have got to convince Logan Reed to stay here. I know we got almost three years to sort it out. Which is a long time. I mean, the series may be done by then. Probably not. But you never know, right? But we've got to make sure Logan Reed does stay here. He's just too good. Ben Yedder on the ball though. For Everton trying to get himself inside does well and again Logan Reed low down to his right turns behind for a corner that one quite a simple save but still nil nil re putting his thumb up and so am I great first half display well there is the full time whistle nil nil at Goodison Park Everton the only team in this one really we were very poor offensively but Logan Reed made sure we got at least a point from this game he was sensational and the stats back that up too. Everton had most of their attempts in the first half and would have won the game as well had it not been for little Logan. I know he got three years until his contract does run out, but we need to get the situation sorted ASAP. He's too indispensable. And we're now going to move into the third and final game of today's episode. And this is it. The first ever European game with St. Johnston. Our first Champions League game in the group at home to the Germans by Leverkusen. A massive, massive game. And I want a winning start as well. It's a tough group. We'll struggle to get out of it. But if we can win the first game, we'll give ourselves a lot of confidence. So come on St. Johnston, first European game. Let's get McDermott Park rocking and get a big three points. Oh, poor pass from me and an early chance for by Leverkusen. Oh, don't you? Oh, my God. I mean, Barry Hamilton, he's, he's a great defender, but sometimes he does some comical stuff. That shot by Hernandez was in slow motion, and Barry almost diverted it past the despairing diver Logan Reed. Fortunately, behind for a corner instead. Still 0 0, but Leverkusen pressing early. Shot deflected this time by Barry. Well behind for a corner. Great work there. Still 0 0. The Germans going in search of an early goal. Kevin Campbell for Leverkusen finds Vieto ball across towards Baum Gartlinger and Logan Reed parries it behind for a corner. A fine stop there from Logan, but by a Leverkusen as sensing our nerves and going in search of the first goal of the game. And from the corner, Vieto strike blocked by Hamilton and the second shot blocked. And the third one is going to go straight to Logan Reed. This has been a terrible start, but it is still nil nil. And by Leverkusen are coming forward again here. Luciano Vieto dances inside and once again, Logan Reed puts it behind for a corner he's been sensational to start this season off but for us in this game already conceding seven attempts on our goal and from that header by Baum Gartlinger it goes a fraction wide the far post it's all by Leverkusen right now we'll be lucky to get another clean sheet again this has just been a terrible start but maybe a chance now for St. Johnston. Rob Hamilton with a corner, whips it in towards the near post. And the header by John Sutar has found the back of the net. And St. Johnston have taken the lead 28 minutes in, completely against the run of play. And St. Johnston's first goal scorer in the Champions League ever, John Sutar. The guy barely ever scores. He's now a bench player for us, but he's headed us into a one-goal lead against the Germans, which we do not deserve. He heads it past the goalkeeper. It is 1-0 to the Saints. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe we're in front after such a terrible start. John Suter, what a legend. 
Chance on the break here. Chris Kane through towards Ewan McDonald and a chance to get ourselves in front. Uh, so today, our second goal of the game. Just before the break, Ewan McDonald bears down on goal. And Leno makes the save. I saw Chris Kane to the left of him, but it was a covering defender and I didn't want to lose the ball. I just wanted to get a shot away, which I did. And then Patterson's header goes over the bar. 1-0 at the break in our first ever Champions League game. We were dominated for so long, but we're in front. Just waiting for the final whistle to come any second now. And there it is. Final score at McDermott Park. St. Johnston won by a Leverkusen nil. And in our first ever Champions League game, we win the group opener thanks to John Sutar. Unbelievable. Bayer Leverkusen will feel harshly done so and probably fairly so as well. They played so well in the first 25 minutes. They had so many shots on goal, but Logan Reed makes some great saves for the second game run in to get another clean sheet. And John Suits are heading in the corner. Gives us the win. What a result on match day one. And that will end today's episode of Club and Country as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy the latest installment, then please do leave a like as likes are, of course, very much appreciated. And they really helped Help channel grow as well much love to you all have a great day hope you had a fantastic week as well and i'll see you for the next episode of club and country very soon